Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. The S&P 500 just had its worst week in more than a year, while the Nasdaq is still on their four-week losing streak. Right now, the major indexes have have been doing pretty well, considering that year to date, the Nasdaq is still up over 3.5%, the S&P 500 is up over 4%, and the Dow Jones is up just under 1%. However, there has been two stocks which have been hit exceptionally hard, which would include Nvidia as well as Tesla, which we will talk about a little later in this video. Nvidia alone has lost around $212 billion worth of value on Friday, which would mark its largest plunge since March of 2020. We've also seen Tesla's share price plummeting recently to where now Exxon and Mobil is actually worth more than Tesla for the first time in more than a year. But before we talk more about Tesla, let's quickly talk about TikTok. The reason why TikTok is in the news is because they are a Chinese company, and there has been a lot of negative news surrounding this. So this negative news could actually spill over into negative news for Chinese stocks. So let's talk about it. According to the article, the House passed a bill on Saturday requiring a forced sale or ban of TikTok in the United United States within the next year. The bill is expected to get through the Senate as soon as this week and will almost certainly be signed into law by President Biden. If you didn't know, TikTok is a platform very similar to Vine where people can go onto this platform and watch very short clips and videos. But why does the US care so much about this Chinese company and what they are doing to United States citizens? Well, I'll tell you. Here are the two big problems. According to the article, they say that since TikTok is owned by a Chinese tech giant named ByteDance, officials fear that the data of TikTokers, which would equate to 170 million US users, could wind up in the hands of the Chinese government. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's also a concern that Beijing could put its thumb on TikTok's algorithm to promote interests and influence the American people. This is why TikTok could potentially completely be banned. And this is going to have a negative reverberation for Chinese stocks across the spectrum, which is why you as an investor need to be aware of this story. Speaking about stock news stories that you need to be aware of, let's talk more about Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. If you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in energy storage and energy generation. But they're also much more than that, because they are also a gigantic technology company and even an artificial intelligence company. Tesla's share price has nosedived over the last few months, but as the company falls in their share price, I just keep on buying this company. Some of the reasons why the share price has been falling is because Tesla consistently has cut the prices of their electric vehicles, which is negatively impacting their margins and profits. Obviously, this is also negatively impacting their revenues. And as of last Friday, the electric vehicle maker cut prices in the United States on their Model Y, Model X, and Model S vehicles by another $2,000. And they also slashed prices over in China for those same models. However, it seems that the price cuts over in China were even more aggressive, considering that there was a price cuts nearly across all of their models. But the news gets even worse. The day after these price cuts, Tesla also trimmed the cost of their full self-driving assistant software in the United States by $4,000, to where it cost $12,000 and now it only costs around $8,000. Again, this is negatively impacting their revenues. To make matters even worse, Tesla also has planned to cut their global workforce by 10%, and they also plan to recall nearly 4,000 Cybertrucks. Yet despite this negative publicity, right now is still one of the best times to buy into this company because they have huge catalysts coming up. Now, in the short term, I do anticipate that this company will fall lower in their overall share price, but if you are a long-term investor who plans to hold this company over the next 10 years, then right now may be an exquisite time to purchase some shares. But Tesla is not the only big tech stock in the Magnificent 7 who has upcoming catalysts, because we also see Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, and a few others, as well as 178 companies in the S&P 500 planning to release earnings this week. This would also include other companies such as General Motors, Boeing, IBM, as well as PepsiCo. I should also mention that Tesla themselves will also be releasing earnings tomorrow, so please pay attention to that. In my personal opinion, I think this is going to act as a negative catalyst, because this is when investors are going to see 
deeper into Tesla's struggles. But don't let that fool you, because as time goes on, they will have huge catalysts which are coming up, such as the robo taxis and their very cheap electric vehicle, which they plan to release in 2025. So investors clearly can look forward to that. In other stock news, you should know that Spotify, ticker symbol SPOT, which is a music streaming platform, which is also trying to integrate themselves into podcasts, recently said that Taylor Swift's new album reached over 300 million streams in a single day. This is drawing a lot of positive news to Spotify and their overall platform, so this should act as a positive catalyst for their respected share price. Now let's talk about macroeconomic stock news in regards to a JP Morgan analyst predicting that the general stock market will crash pretty soon. The article says that the current slump in stocks and bonds isn't over according to this analyst, and a warning is coming from a JP Morgan strategist to say, look beyond quarter one and quarter two because the stock market is going to fall even further. The strategist goes on to say, Say, and I quote, Beyond this, however, we think the sell-off has further to go. He goes on to say, We remain concerned about continued complacency in equity valuations, inflation staying too hot, further Fed repricing, and a profit outlook where the implied acceleration this year might end up too optimistic. Later in the article, he mentions two other problems, and the first one, of course, is stubborn inflation. However, for me personally, when the Federal Reserve does decide to lower interest rates, this is going to act as a positive catalyst for the stock market, not a negative catalyst. His other point is that geopolitical tensions are increasing, which is putting negative pressure on investors and the stock market. And normally, during times like these, investors decide to de-risk by selling their more risky investments. The analyst goes on to elaborate by saying, The above inflation and geopolitical risks are the main reasons we maintain a defensive stance in our model portfolio and continue to recommend investors to hedge their risk assets via long volume exposures and via long commodity exposures, example gold. In one sense, I agree with him that yes, investors should practice proper risk management and hedge their bets. But over the long term, I think this is just a blip in the radar. And overall, the stock market is going to be very strong heading into 2025. But I'm going to leave that decision up to you. So now let's move on to the best stocks to buy right now. For this segment, we're going to talk about three artificial intelligence stocks that are a screaming buying opportunity right now. And we're going to start off with none other than Intel, ticker symbol INTC. We've mentioned this company quite a lot, and in the short term, this company is actually not anticipated to do well. However, if you are a long-term investor such as myself, this company is a screaming buying opportunity, and here's why. The company has already fallen in their share price around 27% since 2022, and according to the article, the company has made significant changes to its business model over the past year, and that could make it an attractive long-term option for investing into an AI company. Now, let me further elaborate. The company is expanding their market by launching their new line of artificial intelligence processing units, also known as GPUs. The reason why Intel is on our list is because apparently these GPUs have a 40% better power efficiency than NVIDIA's chips, which is a huge claim. And if this is true, then a lot of companies are going to gravitate over to Intel instead of NVIDIA. However, don't think that Intel is going to dethrone NVIDIA or AMD anytime soon. It's going to take a long time for Intel to mature its artificial intelligence business and catch up to the rivals such as NVIDIA and AMD. This is clearly a stock that you would want to keep on your radar and maybe invest a small position into this company. However, when we compare Intel to AMD and NVIDIA, they do have the lowest forward earnings ratio, which makes this company a better value opportunity than the other two competitors. But always remember to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Apple, which is a gigantic technology company. Now, you may be surprised to find Apple on this artificial intelligence list, considering that a lot of their peers are more integrated in artificial intelligence. But we have to remember that this company is known for taking their time with a new technology so they can perfect it before they release anything. Therefore, in the meantime, Apple has been honing their artificial intelligence technology to where the article says its leading market shares in multiple areas of consumer technology could see it steer the industry in the future. And I completely agree with this. We also have reports from Bloomberg saying that Apple will overhaul their entire Mac lineup, which is their personal computer lineup, to expand their artificial intelligence capabilities to meet soaring 
demand. We also know that they are integrating artificial intelligence into their new iPhone and various iPhone functions as well as into their Apple Watch. Therefore, Apple needs to be on your artificial intelligence radar right now. And last but not least, let's move on to Alphabet, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L or ticker symbol G-O-O-G. It seems like a lot of companies have been overshadowing Alphabet in artificial intelligence thanks to cloud rivals such as Microsoft and Amazon. However, Alphabet is easily one of the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now if you are a long-term investor, and for me personally, I am heavily invested into Alphabet, which is the parent company to both Google and YouTube. We also have to remember that Alphabet launched Gemini, which is their advanced artificial intelligence model, and although their debut was rather shaky, and their artificial intelligence model has made some mistakes, over the long term, Alphabet could perfect this advanced AI model. Alphabet is investing billions in artificial intelligence development, and the company recently announced plans to consolidate its deep mind and research teams to promote efficiencies in their artificial intelligence division. Therefore, if you are an artificial intelligence investor and you want to buy more AI stocks, I would highly recommend you look into these three companies. But that's not all, because we also have other stocks to buy right now. Next up, we have a TSMC, which is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, which I personally love, and I also personally own this company in my portfolio. If you didn't know, according to the article last Thursday, the world's largest producer of advanced processors issued their first quarter results, and the results were very, very good in my opinion. For Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Limited, ticker symbol TSM, their AI demand continues to go strong. What makes this such a great company is that other artificial intelligence leaders actually rely on Taiwan Semiconductor, such as Nvidia and Apple, and clearly these are two of the largest customers that Taiwan Semiconductor has. This means that the success of Apple and Nvidia will translate into success for Taiwan Semiconductor, but first let me tell you you about their fundamentals. For the recent quarter, which ended on March 31st, Taiwan Semiconductor reported net revenue growth of 16.5% year over year. And on top of that, their net income rose by 8.9%, while their net margin profitability also continues to increase. For some context about this company, Taiwan Semiconductor builds chips for Nvidia as well as Apple and many other companies. And since there is so much demand for Apple's and Nvidia's products, Taiwan Semiconductor is growing like crazy. We even see Taiwan Semiconductor guiding their second quarter revenue results to be between $19.6 billion and $20.4 billion, which is great news. However, that's just for the second quarter. Now let's talk about the full year. And according to the article, Taiwan Semiconductor estimates that their revenue contribution from server AI processors to be more than double. Therefore, the revenue growth will be around 20% if the artificial intelligence demand continues. And this also means that this company is going to be a great investment for investors who are not already invested into this company. More good news for this company comes in the form of the PC market stabilizing and the smartphone market returning to their growth phase amid improved macroeconomic backdrop conditions. Essentially, once the general economy and the stock market starts to find their Try it again, this is going to reflect very positively on this company, and that's why investors need to be paying attention. Last but not least, let's talk about the companies which are reporting earnings on Tuesday, and that would include companies like Tesla, Visa, Texas Instruments, Enphase Energy, as well as Agree Realty Corporation. In my personal opinion, I would want to watch Tesla, Visa, and Enphase Energy, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about any of these stories or any of these companies down below in the comments. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.